We ordered in a pizza and when it came, we talked about how we had divvied up. He said that because I didn't eat as much as him, I should have less. I said OK, but it wasn't much less than him and after all, it was me who had bought the pizza. He said that was beside the point. This was about eating, not paying. And I said, is it? So he said, how about thinking in eights? I said, oh, yeah, OK, go on, I can run with that. And he said, how does five eighths and three eighths sound to you? I said that I thought I was hungrier than three eighths. And he said, but hungrier would be four eighths. And I said, well, what's wrong with that? And he said, well, four eighths is the same as a half. And I said, is it? He said, well, let's talk sixteenths. How about I have nine sixteenths and you have seven? Does that add up to the whole pizza, I said? Yeah, it does, he said. Well, then that sounds a bit more like the way me and you eat pizza, I said. Yes, yes, yes. You probably eat one sixteenth more than I do. Two, he said. Two what, I said. Well, two sixteenths, he said, which is the same as one eighth. Is it? I said. Why have you gone back to eighths? Because that's how you do the divvying up, he said. Oh, right, fair enough, I said. So... Let's carve it up. I went over to the drawer and looked for the big knife we use to cut up pizzas. And it took me a moment or two because it, it got caught up under one of those strainer spoons that you can buy in France. Anyway, when I came back, he was breaking chunks off the pizza and eating them. Have you divvied it up into sixteenths, I said. No, he said, I was getting hungry. So I've started already. I looked at him. Oh, great, you've got the pizza knife, he said. Do you want to divvy it up into sixteenths now, or shall I? I said, hang on a mo. If you've started on it already, doesn't that affect the way the divvying up works? I mean, I mean, no, he said. It's just the same. Right, class six. Right, class six. That rehearsal of Jack and the Beanstalk was um, interesting. Yes, let's talk about the Beanstalk classics. When you chop it down, Donna, remember your audience for this show are going to be much younger than you, four-year-olds, <laughs> little four-year-olds. So when you chop that Beanstalk down, you must make sure that it doesn't actually fall on them. You know, I don't think these little children want a great big tower of green toilet rolls falling on their heads. Now, they, they could get a little bit upset. All looking at me. Looking at me. At me. Me, yes. Darren, I can't see if you're looking at me or not if you've got your cow's head on. Take it off. Thank you. Right. Jack's mother, Donna, yes. I gave you that bit of bread to hold in your hand because it's the last bit of bread that you and Jack have got in the whole wide world. Abdul, yes. Well, sorry, Abdul, I, I know your name is not Jack. I just mean <laughs> in the play. In the play, you're Jack. Yes, yes, no, I do know your name is Abdul, Abdul. Mm. Now, where was I? Yes, you're hungry, Donna, and that's why you're selling the cow. Yes, you were eating the bread while you were trying to say, take the cow to market. But all I could hear was take them to munch, 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 munch. Oh, you mean you're hungry now? Yes, no, it, it is lunchtime in a minute. No, I haven't got any food on me right now. Mervyn? Hmm? Yes? No. Mervyn, we can't have a real live goose in the show. You see, real live geese don't lay golden eggs. No, we're not going to pretend that goose poo is a golden egg. No, and anyway, <laughs> where would we get a goose from? Joanna, we're not going to just grab a goose from the park. We've got the lovely paper goose that Marcia made. Um, where is it? Where is the goose? Who's got the goose? Right, Darren, could you look this way, please? You need to take the cow head off while I'm giving you these notes for the show. Now, now, where was I? Yes, the beans, lovely. The man on the road, where are, Warren, yes. Warren, Jack gives you the cow. Yes, uh, okay, Abdul, sorry. Abdul gives you the cow, and you give Abdul the beans. Now, just, be, just because we've got M&Ms for the beans, it doesn't mean that you can eat them. No, Warren, 
if you eat the beans, you can't swap them for the cow. Darren, you'll remember, he steps forward. At... Darren, take the cow head off. No, Abdul, no warrant, you can't eat the beans. No, not even one. No one, no one can have any beans. Right, where were we? Yes, Lloyd and Zoe, Mrs Giant. The big dress I've given you is to hide you, Lloyd. No one must know that you are carrying Zoe. That means you can't suddenly pop your head out. Mrs Giant doesn't have two heads, one underneath the other. Now, Darren, if you go on talking, I'll have to... Look, just take the cow head off. Louise and Karen, for the giant himself to work, you two have to stay close together the whole time. Yep, that means the whole time, so Alfred is safe sitting there on your shoulders. In the rehearsal, I'm afraid you started walking off in different directions. Just as Alfred was saying, fee fi fo fum he started to slip down the middle. All we heard was fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an owl. Now the goose. Has anyone seen the goose? Abdul is sitting on it. Abdul is sitting on it. Abdul, are you sitting on the goose? Oh, no, you are. Get up. Get up. Oh, now look. You've squashed the goose. What are we going to do with a squashed goose? It looks like we're saying that a... A bit of screwed up paper lays golden eggs. We're going to have to think this through again. Uh, what are we going to have as a goose? Joanna, I've already said we're not going to the park to grab a goose. Even if I wanted to grab a goose, I wouldn't know how to. No. Melvin, I haven't got a great big net. Where would I, where would I get a great big net from? Oh, right, yes. Your dad's got nets in his garden. That's very nice, Melvin, that is. But I really don't think I'm going to go round to your house and ask your dad for a net, and, and when he says, what for, that I'm going to say, it's to catch a goose. And I'm certainly not going to go running round the park with a great big net trying to catch a goose. I, Darren, could you stop groaning? Just take the cow head off. Right, class six. Listen, all eyes, to the front. The front. Now, back to you, Mrs. Giant. That was very nice, the way you hid Jack in the cupboard, but you slammed the door too hard. You said, run, Jack, run. But Jack was stuck in there. And then we had to wait for Mr. Hardware to come and wrench it open. Is Mr. Hardware in the story, Jack and the Beanstalk? Is the story Mr. Hardware and the Beanstalk? I don't think so. Right. Darren just pulled the cow head forward, then up. Forward, then up. What's that? I can hear crunching. Someone's eating the beans. Who is it? Lloyd? Zoe? Bring them here, Zoe. Bring them here. If this goes on, there'll be no beans and no play. What? Darren's stuck? What do you mean he's stuck? Of course he can breathe. Darren, can you breathe? Darren, can you breathe? Darren, can you hear me? Are you breathing? Darren! Darren! Darren, quick! Someone, someone, go and fetch Mr. Hardware, quick! It's an emergency! No, not all of you. Come back. Fan, and just Fan, fetch Mr. Hardware. No, I don't know where he is. He'll be, um, uh, where he is. Darren! Darren, can you hear me? What? You were only joking. Right. Take the cow head off, Darren. Thank you. And you can go straight down to see Mrs. Rashid and tell her how you pretended to get stuck in the cow head. That's not funny, John. Not funny either, Simone, Lydia. And it wasn't funny earlier during the play when you were trees. Trees don't laugh. That's all you need to remember. Trees don't laugh. <laughs> right, Class X, I'm sure it's all going to be marvellous. The little children are going to love it. And remember, don't let the beanstalk fall on top of them. Now, it would be great if you subscribed. That is, you become a subscriber. Look out for the subscribe button. What happens, you see, is that I make new vids every few months, and then I post them up one a week for a while. So if you subscribe, you get to see the new ones just as they come hot off the press. Eww.